All right, guys, have a look at this video. Look at this. Very exciting. Got my elevator on and attached. Horizontal tailplane on the stab. Stab's fitted. And this is how I went about it. Okay, delayed parts on the avionics and the um, center console. Sorry, the panel. So I pulled the struts out. There's always something to do. So the wing struts. Uh, with the plans there, working off the plans obviously. Measured out my holes, 53mm from the leading edge. Uh, the easiest way I found to do that. Just put a square there and then, uh, then measure your 53mm 50, in. Um, so anyway, marked them all up. I've drilled one side and Clicoed. Uh, did the same on this one. Got all my holes in the middle, and now with the vertical drill, I just do one hole at a time over on the vertical drill, and I went right through, so nice and square, and in the middle. Now I put that back, put this back in, drill right through the whole lot, enlarge the holes to quarter, and that's the wing struts at the wing, sorry at the. A fuse large end complete. It's a good time now before I before I bolt these in. I've got a little got a little chubby here. A little chubby. Um, what's that? It's an AN7, so 716 bolt. Is that right? Something like that. Yeah, AN7, 716. Um, so it's a good chance. Sounds silly, but make sure it fits through that hole. And I'll remove the powder coat, and then I'll just make sure also, at the moment, um, there's no way that's going to get on. So it's going to bite me later on. So it's easy just working with this piece, and I'll get that to slide on. Um, going well. Bit of craft time. This reminds me of painting those little airfix. Airfix kits when you're a kid. I'm just painting some screws up. Just a bit pedantic, but uh, these are the center console screws. So just touching them up to make match the interior. And two wing struts at the fuselage end. Obviously mirror mirror image those, so the the bolts will be on top. Like most of this Zenith stuff, I find the bolts to be very um, like almost a dash length too short, so I substituted the washers for thin washers just so I could get my um, one to two threads, or two threads poking out, just um, and torque those up, quarter inch bolt, 50 to 70 inch pounds it's about six foot pounds um, nice and flush, these are square these ends, so that obviously sets um, the airfoil angle relative to the airflow I guess so they're in there nice nice and square there is actually a flat if you have a look at the meat there on top of the tube so hard work's done they're lined up use of the vertical drill got those in nicely so happy with those on my um, attachment point um, a bit rough at this stage but I ground the, the powder coat just so that the uh, the fork end will slide on there nicely so when the time comes to rig the wings I'm not mucking around trying to get that to fit so that'll fit and the bolt goes through I'll touch this up later in situ once it's all attached going well alright another reshuffle turn the fuselage around, wings are on the other side squash the table in and got the stab down so we're going to have a go and offering the stab up to the fuselage Got my tail stand in. Uh, one issue I have got is the frame. The frame's not like it's out by you know, half a degree, I suppose. That way. And from the front, it's um, just ever so slightly out as well. People keep saying we're not building the jet fighter, so um, 
yeah, that's sort of factory set. Um, maybe my, anyway, we'll progress, see how we go. Okay, initial fit. Just offered up the horizontal stab, tile plane, horizontal tile, call it what you want. Put my pins in for my um, incidence meter. Um, first thing I've noticed is I've pushed the back right down. I've got a big gap at the front here. I'm just going to go back in the instructions and check if maybe I may I put those L angles in there. I might have been a little bit overzealous, left them a bit long, so I can trim some off to get rid of this gap. But I'll haven't checked the incidence or anything yet. Um, and the, it's just sitting there at the moment. So slow and steady. I want to get this right. It's got to be square. Um, the angle this way, decalage, I think they call it. Um, I know the relation flown, flown plenty of free flight airplanes, but if the tail is crooked, the tail will fly straight. So if this side's, if the left side's high, it'll uh, the tail will come level, so it'll roll to the left, so it'll fly to the high side. It's looking pretty good at the moment already. Haven't even put any gauges on there yet. The square fuselage. Yeah. I'm getting a bit nervous because I've got to drill drill these four holes in the tail up in through here um, in through that part all nicely centered and at the front as well I think what I'll do is drill from this side across to the other side and then vice versa so drill from here across so I don't miss so just put the stab one upside down to sit it flush in that cradle and then that actually gives me a, a good, it gives me um, minus 0.3 of a degree, which is what I'm after. Um, so that saddle is rigged up perfectly. So if I get the gap either square or minimise that gap when I flip it back over, I'll be pretty close. It's a good little trick there, I guess. You can see the stab stabs upside down. All right, quite a bit of effort there, but I took about five mil off the... Um, standoffs that come out of the horizontal tail plane just to get this gap near perfect it's actually just touching on a rivet here that runs in this spar um, the incidence is perfect so happy with that and we'll keep going all right so working up on the bench um, one important tip if you hit your head on the if you hit your head on the rafters it's going to so getting up and down on this bench about know, 10 or 15 times. I've looped, I've probably put the tail plane on uh, at least a dozen times by now, just lifting it up, make some adjustments. Um, I've just shimmed each side, about 15 thou each side, about to measure up just to get my the angle this way. Um, so it's parallel with the wing, which aren't installed yet, but it's parallel with the fuse, center line of the fuselage, be parallel. Um, it's horizontal. Incidence is fine. Time to drill it, I think. Just not sure. I might pilot hole. I could pilot hole the little stubby bits that poke out of the stab perfectly in the centre and then nail it from this side so I don't get any surprises. The rear ones aren't too bad. I'm not sure if I'm just going to drill that 16th hole and Cleco it for now or do I drill it all out put the bolts in, then I can play with the elevator, the elevator tips, possibly run some pulleys, although probably hook up the pulleys once once it's painted. Um, so I'm not really sure to be honest, I'm just uh, making this up as I go along. Tile plane it has to come off to be painted. The way I've done it, I haven't riveted the hinge, so the hinge is riveted to the, um, to the elevator, which is above my head here. Um, I'll probably paint and just have brand new rivets, like shiny rivet heads on top of the elevator there, I'm not too sure. Um, or I'll paint the whole assembly together. I think it's better if I paint them separately to get into the hinge line. Um, that's where we're at at the moment. So from here, I think I'm going to pilot hole, 
You can tell I'm a bit nervous about drilling these holes because if I stuff this up, well, I might as well put it on eBay, I guess, as uh, slightly used. Um, so, yeah, we'll pilot hole, probably put the bolts in, then I can, then it's on, it's secure, put the elevator on, I can position, there's a pulley that goes here, uh, with the, the cable, runs down through this lightning hole, so I could pre-position that, get that, that installed, I might just do that actually, and then run some string instead of running the cables, just use string or fishing line or something, just to give me the idea, um, and we'll go from there. But uh, once again, I'll measure it again. Incidence, decalage, and this way. Um, so there we go, going well. All right, we're getting there. So I've drilled 16th holes in the legs. So working from the outside, uh, the inside out, if you like. Um, and I've just made up these little shims that'll go in the front here. So I've put the same on both sides, should end up pretty square. We'll run the tape and I can drill, so from the left hand side I can drill the right hand side one and on the other side then I'll, then I'll pull off this plate that's on the side here um, and hopefully capture the back, back ones all the time. I'm just going to check my um, angle of incidence, square this way to the centre line um, and obviously level. So part of building, you're going to spend a lot of time going down to the hardware store just been down and picked up my 90 degree drill extension, small um, head on it with a hex head and I found a little, because um, so I've got the right drill bit, I was shopping around looking for, I use a number 11 or number 12 drill bit for those uh, 3 16 bolts, um, the 3 16 drill believe it or not is a little bit too small for the bolts to go through, so a number 11 I think it is that I use is perfect, so I've got the right drill bit, so I also found the little uh, a mini um, chuck and my 90 degree angle so you know you can just imagine imagine if you're out at a restaurant somewhere someone yells out quick has anyone got the ability to drill a 3 16 hole in a tight spot this guy has all right bit of string center of the fuselage on top of the rivet i've measured this as per the home builder help video from the um, elephant ear to the tip um, i've got three meters 45 i think it is or 305 and a, 304 and a half um, just to double check and because I'm doing it by myself a bit of the builder's string get that out and this will help with my Lamy inspection my builder's inspection so I've got a black black mark on the string which depends on the tension it's right there over to the other side same bit of string and then hopefully I'll pull the string up shouldn't have to look too hard for my black mark so we'll call that square now as far as horizontal goes I've removed my string put my um, I'll zero that there, my level. I just like to remove it and put it back. It's very accurate, this thing, probably a bit too accurate. Zero. That's my zero reference. And down the back on the horizontal tail stab. Zero. Nice. I just whacked a um I wedged a paddle pop stick so I just tap it in just to get that to zero. So now we're square to the centre line, um, horizontal that way in relation to the roof of the cabin. Let's do the incidence and then recheck. As incidence go, so you'll add zero plus nothing minus one, so minus one as opposed to 0.1. So I like to use my digital or my phone for this one, just give me better reference so I'm at point half a degree nose down so just to check that if I raise the back it should go further negative which it does so we're at 
All right guys, getting exciting. Got the elevator fitted to the stab, stab fitted to the aeroplane, and got the um, got the tips on. Have a look at this. So plastic tips are on. I've previously fitted those. Um, click them back in position. Elevator's on with the elevator down stop. Just as the factory, um, as it comes from the factory, set up. So the main, uh, this main part here with the, which would be your down cable, um, hits on the rudder attachment block in there, and that sets your down stops. I've written it up on top of the wing here. Um, 18 degrees down, plus or minus two. 28 degrees up, plus or minus two. That's what the limits are for. So I've actually got right on 18 degrees down elevator at the moment. This corner doesn't hit, which is nice. Got my bolts in, drill my holes nice and square. Elevator's on, it's getting exciting. Uh, the tip on this side is on. If you remember back in my other videos, I spent the time reading the top skin of the elevator, sorry, the stab, to get a twist out as best I could. And that's paid dividends because now if I line this up with both tips, um, expect no less it's uh, perfect the standard you walk past is a standard you set I just need to I've got a gap over on this side on the left hand side I've got a nice gap there this this will all get cleaned up a bit <coughs> um, but you can see the gap it actually widens to about quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch of the trailing edge to give me the full and free. And on this side, I still have to work it a bit. On the right hand side, while it looks nice and neat and perfect, um, I've made it a bit too neat. So I've recessed the the false rib, it's recessed in there about. Sixteenth of an inch. Now I can sand. I'll sand the plastic away. There are stories. This is going to be painted orange. The tailplane. Um, no, I'm not copying. <clears throat> the tailplane is going to be painted orange, so a darker colour. It'll cop a bit of heat, and believe it or not, the tip heat heats up, and this can actually this can actually flex inward a bit, and interfere with your elevator. So why it looks sexy and nice. Um, functionality over fit in this case so I'll sand this down once I get the rivets in there are also I did consider showing my um, the inspector the incidence on the angle of incidence on the tailplane but my plan would be I can still make up a um, make up a stick if you like or a jig go on the front same as a Robart incidence meter um, Imagine a triangle there, a straight tapered tailplane, triangle there, a bit of 2B1 running across the top, and then you can read the incidence on both sides to make sure there's no twists and refer that back to your zero datum on the cabin. So really excited at the moment. This is um, starting to get into some fun stuff. All the hard work's paying off. Um, as far as upstop goes, we need to design something to go in there. Um, Research does show that the skin's a bit skin is a bit thin there, um, but I think it calls for some sort of bracket off this arm to hit at the right angle just for an upstop. Uh, what else? So the um, the cable attachment points. Uh, you got one cable attachment point there and down, and the other one down the bottom. Now they are, I've measured them, it doesn't look it, but they are both exactly the same distance from the hinge. Bear in mind it's top it's top hinged, so they're about four inches from the hinge. So it should give you equal equal movement on the cables. Uh, there is a, um, if you had an early kit, the uh, elevator hinge stops about 12 inches or 300 mil short of the tip. Um, I've got the later version, so I've got a thicker skin on the... Um, 
horizontal stabiliser and a full length elevator hinge. Pretty self explanatory. It's 2440, I remember that. Runs all the way up to the end. I've still put a, um, a lock wire in there, although there's no way the wire can come out. However, um, standard practices, I'll put a lock wire in there. You just have to be careful of the tail too. You don't want the tail to swing around and it can actually um, bind in the, um, in the hinge. So that's where that's at at the moment. As far as removing the elevator if I need to, well, pretty simple. I can't. So my plan is I'm going to paint. I'll paint the elevator. This is my plan at the moment. Paint the elevator separate to the stab. Um, that way I can get a good good paint in and around there. Um, I don't like it when people fit, say, if, say if the elevator trim push rods in there and people just spray over the whole thing. Um, I think it looks tacky. So I'll remove all that. The elevator trim's not in at the moment. But I'll fit that, get it working, then remove it, then paint, then refit it. Then you get a nice crisp, you know, differentiation. It'd be the same as painting over that Clico there. Um, it just looks lazy and it looks terrible, I think. So a bit more work, but it'll be a neater product in the end. Um, so once these are painted, I'm just going to leave so that you can see the hinges final riveted to the elevator, but Clicoed to the stab. Um, and that's the way it's going to be. So I'll paint it, then I'll fit it, but I'll have shiny rivets along the top here, which is fine. I can either polish them up, um, I could touch them up with a brush if I needed to, but I'm six foot, and this is eye height, standing at... Um, so I'm six foot, and this is my eye height now. Uh, so the top surface of the wing, sorry, the tail plane, um, you're not going to see those rivets unless you watch this video. So going well, getting on to some good fun stuff now, so, and it does actually, I've worked out how to get it into my shed, got the wings there, I've deactivated the door so when the missus comes home and offers me a coffee, it doesn't go up the front of the aeroplane, don't ask me how I know that. Um, yeah, going well. I'm also going to mix up a bit of epoxy and filler and we'll just put in the, um, the gap at the leading edge there. Clean that up nicely. So while I'm under here with the elevator hung, I'm just doing my elevator trim. Had the clevis pin in. Um, 9 volt battery. It's the grey and white wire. In my case, this turns to brown on the supplied cable. Grey and white is power and just reverse the polarity to reverse the direction. And I've set my um on there 20 degrees up, 40 degrees down. About to pull it back out, ready for paint. So elevator trim is um just got the length of the rod. You just have to um, play with the length of the rod. And, um, I found the the length given, I think it's 116 mil. The length of that rod is not quite right. Um, in my case anyway, so I just needed just to adjust the turns. What I did was um, I went full trim tab down, which is up trim as you know. So full trim tab down, had the motor at the stop, adjusted the rod, so I knew there was no mechanical binding, because up is less, so up can almost go 90 degrees if I wanted to, um, and set my rod length, and that got it spot on. Riveted my tips on, just beautiful. Really nice. So rivets top and bottom. And the elevator with clearance and the tab. I will see up elevator, down elevator. Okay, just going to run some mock um, elevator cables. So this is the up cable. A fair bit of science in this. Tennis ball and string. Let's just tape that on there. The old tape ball for my brother's watching from the backyard cricket. A lot of science in this, and this has to be very accurate. So get the tennis ball, place it in the hole, and chuck it, and that actually come out the hell hole. Boom! What a shot! Got it on camera. <laughs> there's a vid. There's the ball down there. So one um, elevator cable run, and yeah. 
even fell out the hellhole. All right, I finished playing ball sports. Um, so straight away I can see why the pulley's in the back here. The string's touching there, so there's a pulley that goes up in there, which will pull the cable down, hopefully, to clear the um, lightning hole. And up here is going to be an issue. I'll have to um, make that slot a bit bigger for the um, for the down cable, elevated down cable. Um, but there, yeah, that looks okay. We'll have a look up on top. Right up on top, so I've got a full down elevator at the moment. Resting on the tail plane here, clears the hole. And these, um, just excuse the swarf under there, the cleaning lady hasn't been yet. Next I'm out this pulley, which will hold the, hold the cable. As you can see straight away, I've got to watch the front edge of this hole. So where I'm at, this um, pulley will be uh, obviously important to miss. It's very close there still. Looks like it needs to be back as far as it'll go. And I think there's a fair lead we put on the front here, just to hold that away. And some stiffeners. This will go inside the dorsal fin of the, the rudder, or the fin. Um, what else we got? Could actually raise that, maybe. So it's full down elevator. Not sure if I can move this. I've got hockey straps up the front there. Gives me a good indication of what's going to occur. And the down stop Sorry, the upstop will need to clear the cable, so the upstop will go be mounted in there. That's good. Going well. And I think I'll just leave, I'll leave these Clico for now. Probably easier to take those off for our final paint. I could just take the pulley out and paint it in situ with that riveted on. Um, there's a fair chance it'll get knocked, so I think I'll just remove that whole bracket. Once it's painted, then I'll do the final cables as well. Uh, it has a little, for those that are wondering, there's a hole at the top there with a cotter pin to secure the cable, a uh, split pin. And same on this bracket at the front here. I'll uh, putz that off for painting. Just give me a square, square fuselage to paint. And uh, yeah, see how that goes. A really good, um, really good couple of days to get the stab fitted. Okay, I might wrap that one up there, guys. I'm sick of climbing up and down on this on this bench at the moment. Uh, horizontal stab is on. Tips are on, looking good. Had a play with the trim. Get our bolts in. Ran some string. Um, I worked out what uh, Z1-13 is, is this part, with this angle. Um, got that nice and centered with my string there. So the string does come in handy. I can actually move the um, move the elevator. I've got that with Oki straps tied to the control column. Um, now I fitted this uh, forward pulley. Um, keeps the cable off the stab nicely. I've put an L bracket, L angle, sorry, on the inside underneath as per the plans, but it's still just a little bit. Um, a little bit wonky, so I think I'll run another. We'll go off the plans a bit and uh, ad lib a bit. So I'm going to run another L angle internally, just across here. On the back one, I didn't I didn't interfere with the longeron, longeron being very important. Um, but I just uh, sandwiched the L angle and the longeron with a rivet just inboard, so there's no chance of nicking the longeron and mucking that up. I'll do the same at the front here, makes it strong, it's nice and strong at the back, a little bit soft at the front. If it was anything else I'd leave it, but being a fl elevator flight control, um, especially for up elevator, I'll just tighten that up. Also I'm very wary, once again, just adding weight, especially down the back. Every one unit of weight down the back means uh, you need four units up the front there to counteract it. So, try not to add too much weight down the back. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching that one. I'm um, getting exciting, getting into the, the cruts of it all. Uh, a bit of airframe stuff. Um, 
If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. Next video, I just had a delivery. This may or may not be my MGL avionics package. So please subscribe and see you on the next video. Thank you.